Welcome to another tech video. So today we've got another bargain. So let's have a look to see what we've got in this box. So well packaged, very well packaged, with some lovely bubble wrap. What have we got in here? This looks like a power lead. And in here, in here we've got a Dell Octoplex. 3040 small form factor Core i5 6500 CPU running at 3.2 gigahertz, 8 gig of RAM, and a 128 gigabyte um, SSD drive. So I'm not sure whether it's um, whether the SSD drive is a SATA or whether it's an NVMe. So let's get it opened up and we'll have a look inside. Okay, so before we get started having a look inside, let's just have a look at the connectivity options. So on the front, we've got two USB 3 ports and two USB 2 ports and a combined headphone and microphone jack. And we've got a DVD read writer um, that's uh, available as well. Uh, in terms of the condition, it's not bad. Looks like they've had some uh, sticky labels stuck on the front here, which uh, I will clean up with some... Um, cleaner and then on the back of the device the usual thing 180 watt power supply um, gigabit ethernet two usb 3 ports two usb 2 ports uh, display port 1.2 and an hdmi 1.4 port and then we've got our line out or speakers out um, there that's all there is to that inside uh, let's have a look so inside the unit itself let's remove the two screws on the back here that will just slide the cover out and let's see what the condition is like inside okay so inside uh, it's not as good as some of the other ones that we've purchased this one needs a bit of a clean up you can see all the dust inside there um, and let's have a look that is a PCIe 3 times 16 port and then yep all looks fairly dusty in there and then on the top here we've got our 128 gig um, SATA SSD drive so what we're going to do is we're going to actually replace that with a 256 gig drive and then we're also going to take the fans out take this apart and give it a good clean out Okay, so removing the CPU fan, we'll, you've got to remove four screws that are down in the depths of the fan holding it onto the heatsink assembly. So they just unscrew. Remove them. These are like little, little self tapping screws. And then the fourth one in here. So once we've got the uh, four screws out, you re release the two side catches on the fan, and then that will enable you to lift the fan unit out. The whole assembly will come out with those screws undone. So that will enable us to pass the fan through there. We can then remove the fan assembly and we can move the fan to one side. We can, if necessary, take the fan out of the fan header. So that will enable us to clean that out. 
and then as you can see here we've got quite a lot of uh, dust build up on that uh, uh, CPU cooler so what we're going to do is we can remove that as well inside here we've got um, our drive cage assembly so to get into there what we do is by releasing that catch there um, we're going to lift the front tabs to remove the front panel cover that's been slid off release the bracket that's over the side here and that will allow you to lift that up we can actually take that drive cage out of the way first of all and we can then remove the whole of this assembly if we can lift it up there we go and that releases everything there and then you can have a look um, a little bit more detail on the main board itself so it comes with a single stick of 8 gig memory let's remove that from the port and have a look at it so that is uh, DDR3 we'll give that a, a dust off as well so we've never had any issues we're going to be just using a, a standard paintbrush we're going to clean that off give it a dust on both sides just to remove the uh, the dust and we're going to re add that into the slot so because there's only one stick it's only single channel but if you've got an another eight gig stick um, as the matched pair then um, that will give you dual channel memory okay so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to remove the SATA cables so we can and we're going to remove the six pin power which provides the SATA power and that will then enable us to take this unit outside and give it a clean off outside okay so here we are outside all we're going to do is we're going to give this a little brush off get rid of all the dust off there and then also give the motherboard a bit of a dusting just to give it a clean up because it is quite dirty And again the front uh, the front fan assembly here I'm going to give that a good clean you can see down there's quite a lot of dust okay so here we are now we've got the unit all nice and clean um, it's not as clean as it could be but uh, it'll be absolutely fine to use at a client site so let's give the fan a quick clean up as well so we will remove the PC and we'll give this a, a bit of a dusting off as well using the paintbrush so all I'm doing here is holding on to the blades to stop them from turning and getting the brush in there to get as much of the dust that's ends up sticking to the fan blades giving it a good clean okay so that's that that's the fan unit back so now we're going to pass the fan unit up through there okay So our fan assembly goes back in place. We want to reconnect our fan header like that. Only goes in one way. And then we want to reattach our screws. Okay, so that's the fan reassembled. Um, looking good, all nice and clean in there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the trays, let's just get my gloves back on for this and give them a bit of a clean up as well. So all we're doing here again is we're just going to give the, uh, the tray a bit of a clean and we'll give that SATA driver clean as well, although we are going to be changing it. Okay. 
Okay, so now we need to reattach our six pin connector. Which only goes in one way by the way. SATA zero, which is the drive. And SATA one, which is the DVD ROM. There we go. So now we're going to get our cage back in. Like so. And then our drive in like that. Feed the feeder cables through here and our SATA cable through there as well. And we will route power and SATA through there. Okay, so that's it all done. Um, next thing we're going to do is Let's have a look at the front of the device, make sure that's clean, which it's not. So we'll give that another dust off, like so. This this device here, this part here, that's the speaker unit, so you want to be careful that you don't uh, damage that at all. Okay, so now let's have a look at uh, taking out the SSD drive. So we'll remove the whole cage again, um, but this should now just pull out from the sides, which it does. So this is an unbranded, made in Taiwan, manufactured date July 2016, LCH128V2S. Okay. So this is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using a WD Blue uh, 250 gig drive. So we can go ahead and install that. That's it. And then we take our SATA cables, attach that and attach the SATA power like that and insert the drive okay so what are our plans for this so we're going to be loading a fresh fresh copy of windows 10 and once we've done that um, we'll come in and we'll have a look and review the system so we want to pop our front panel back on and you can see here you've got the uh, the clip holes at the bottom so your panel places in there and then just slides forward carefully making sure that the DVD drive is all in place and then last but not least our top panel goes on and locks in with the two screws at the back That's all there is to it. So um, let's get this uh, loaded up with Windows 10 and then we'll show you uh, the system. Right, so we've loaded Windows 10. Um, let's now go through and have a look to see what's configured. We'll just double check all of the settings that we've, uh, we've got. Let's make that nice and big. So if we go to system, and then we're going to go to about. Here we've got our device listed Core i5 6500, 3.2 gigahertz, 8 gig of memory, and um, pre activated with Windows 10 Pro. So uh, when you load Windows 10 on a Dell machine, it picks up the um, version or the, the, the make and model and what the key is that's embedded in it. So um, it basically, when you load a fresh copy of Windows using a USB stick from the media creation tool, it will automatically install the correct version for you based on the PC that you've got. So um, this was a, this is a business grade machine, so it's installed Windows 10 Pro for us so we can join a domain. Um, so that's that bit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look at the device manager, make sure that uh, 
everything's installed correctly there are no uh, yellow exclamation marks on any of the system here and if we go into our disk drives we can see our um, SSD drive that we fitted to it. So um, in terms of uh, bloatware uh, there isn't any basically because it's a fresh copy of Windows so we've created um, a media creation tool uh, on a USB stick and you can see that um, it just installs Windows 10 and all of the correct stuff that we want to see is here. So we've installed the Dell Support Assist just to make sure that uh, the BIOS was up to date um, and it wasn't so we've updated the BIOS on here and um, in terms of installed applications it is all bulk standard um, fresh out of the box no bloatware so that is now good for us to clone this drive and um, uh, keep it as an image for any future 3040s that we get. So if you found that video useful give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you've got any questions leave them down below and we'll try and get them answered for you. Um, apart from that just want to say thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.